We are here for our College Career Pathways Capstone Showcase. It's our culminating event after our eight-week summer internship program for 30 college interns who've spent the summer working in departments, learning and connecting with healthcare professionals, and also learning about a health equity topic. And in this case, they're focused on human medical experimentation. There's a lot of horrors in it, but there also have been lots of advances in medicine and we want them to understand um, sort of that history context, what uh, racism, exploitation, um, a lack of ethics uh, and morals, uh, what that is able to do in the medicine field. So we chose unveiling provider biases. Um, we wanted to connect back um, some of the themes we saw within our book club, um, specifically how provider biases kind of informed the very uh, dark and gruesome past um, of medical experimentation, specifically in terms of the mothers of uh, gynecology and then also how that connects to mass incarceration um, and experimentation on uh, imprisoned individuals. Uh, so the mothers of gynecology are Lucy, Betsy, and Anarka, and these were three enslaved women in Alabama who were experimented on by Dr. James Marion Sims, and they were exploited without consent um, by him to develop tools and techniques that we use today in modern gynecology. Understanding where those practices come from is really essential to becoming a good provider long term. And then we also wanted to look at the prison systems just because those affect all of our communities. They affect everyone that we interact with. So understanding the health outcomes that are a result of that is imperative as we move forward as healthcare providers. Our presentation is focused on the Willowbrook Hepatitis Study. This was a study that originated in New York that um, intentionally injected insulin disabled children with the hepatitis virus in order to find a vaccine for it. The children were, like she mentioned, um, severely mentally challenged and then this, the circumstances of that school were really bad, um, so then the researchers took advantage of those situations. My REACH experience has not only just kind of expanded my knowledge of what is possible in my future, um, but also really given me the confidence and uh, belief in myself that I can go and make the changes that I want to. I love my REACH experience this year. Um, I got to use many tools from last year and implicate in this year. I shadowed a lot of doctors. You know, just being in the healthcare field, seeing patients every single day, it really just really make sure that I am going in the right direction in the healthcare field. I feel the exact same way. It really um, reaffirmed my um, goals and my interest in wanting to pursue medicine. It's really given me the opportunity to understand how we as other professionals can integrate ourselves into a healthcare setting and improve health equity across our communities. To have the real hands-on work and application in a public health setting has provided me with knowledge that I will take with me forever.